Well, hey there, everybody. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do bees. Welcome to Southeast Louisiana. All right, folks, it's February 13th, 2023. The season is beginning. We're getting on into the month. We're seeing swarms over toward the Abbey. We're seeing a lot of activity. We got a beautiful day today. It was 30 degrees this morning. It's gotten up into the 60s this afternoon. It's back down again. So I'm on my way to put my traps out. I prepped three of them this year. Now they say the ideal size is 40 liters. This is a bit bigger than 40 liters, but just the deep by itself is a little less than 40 liters. So I use the two of them together. I'm out here baiting this trap. I don't know if you can see it in this video or not, but a bee has already showed up and was crawling on the cone. There's one. I think we're gonna have a, a successful trip out here. Yeah, that'd be cool. We'll go right there on one of them trees. Well, hey there, everyone. It's Barry's best honey. I'm Mike. I'm doing bees as you can well tell and I found a colony that I'm not gonna be back out here for another week or so and it's blowing up I found the queen and I'm gonna go ahead and do a split it's so early in the season that I'm gonna go ahead and do a walk away split I don't have queen cells available I haven't started grafting yet I'm gonna go get my equipment that I'm gonna set up on the stand I'm gonna split them right next to each other everybody worries about splits and what you need to do I'll explain how I do these walk away splits and why they're not that difficult to do and why you can do them in the same exact yard on the same stand i spotted the queen so what i'm doing is i'm going to see who's got brood in the top who's overloaded with honey because all my hives for the most part have too much honey in the top need to be opened up this one was packed up with bees so what happens is all that brood in the top those nurse bees are all going to come back up over the top all we have to do is remove our split look at those bees this is what i do now this is how i do Oh, I'm gonna pull this off. I'm gonna set on my little stand here and take the excluder off. Now, since these are some packed out bees, I'm gonna give them a second box. And then in the middle, I have three, one, two, four drawn frames. Give them something immediately. Oh, it's heavy. Any field bees that are in here, they're gonna leave and go back to the front. It's just that easy, folks, really. Is. One thing about splits is the way I do, especially verticals, if I ever have a problem, I just recombine them. I ain't afraid. They could possibly make emergency cells if they're not satisfied with these. I'll put this right here. I'll slide it down. In we go. What I learned from JP watching years of JP the Bee Man was he always would close them up and let the remaining bees find it. So basically on the first or the second they moved in within a day after moving it from way over there in that corner back there, way back there to up here, a day later they moved in and I mean it's a good one too. Look at them. Ooh, they're coming and going. I'm in such an awkward situation with my queen cells. The timing this year has been so far off. I've got everything already split and requeened. So I got all these cells that are ready to go. I figure, well, let's make some nukes. And I checked with my friend, the beekeeping world spokesman, the homesteader's hero, none other than Greg Burns. So what you think about one frame of brood, one frame of food, one drawn comb, and uh, a cell plus one shake of bees. He said, send it. Same old song and dance here, folks. We'll look for the queen. We got food and brood on this one. Although I still put in a, a third frame for now. But I may not have to put a honey frame in. So I'm looking for my queen. And I've taken some off already, but this is what we came up with. And there was 30 grafts and I, I counted 24 cells. Of course, I've taken some off. I've seen those come out in the incubator, and I'll put those in the incubator. She's working her way out. Three have already emerged. This morning and last night, one did and two this morning. 
and this one here is about out. These are the last of the cells from my graph that I did. That's it. <laughs> camera to camera. Look at that guy. <laughs> Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> <laughs> World famous Mike Barry. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> Mike is swearing up and down they've only been here for, for one season. Now I believe that. Now I believe that. I do believe that. I do believe that. I do believe that. Oh, that's a beautiful, that's a brand new colony. Look at that. All right, let's set up our bee back, huh? So anyhow, what are we doing? Well, we're not doing a whole lot of anything. Uh, you can tell we're not doing much when I'm doing cutout videos. <laughs> Normally this time of year, usually around the Memorial Day time frame, I'm yanking out uh, 20 supers or so. And that's not happening this year. Uh, not even close. Um, nothing that nothing he's even ready to think about being pulled. So now I've got two caged queens. I don't have any more cages. So I can't afford to find any more queens. So both queens are attracting nurse bees. Mm -hmm. This is what a lot of people are seeing right now in their colonies. So what we do is do a shake test the old school way. There's a little bit of nectar coming out. There's a little bit of honey. It's pretty thick. Yeah, that's pretty thick stuff. I can dry that down. Alrighty, I got her loaded. There's the first honey. That is it. I had the camera off when the first drop came out. I didn't get to show you loading the rest of the frames either. But anyway, I got her nice and slow. Beautiful honey. A little darker than what we're used to. You hear that? I know. Nothing. Speed it up a little bit. Don't want to go crazy. Well, hello everybody. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I do acid. No, no, you know better. All right, we're rising up. We're about 220, almost done. Well, up here, I've always said this about northern beekeepers, they have such a challenge when it comes to the compact season. We were just talking about his season, and you're talking about if you can even start building your colonies that come through winter, you have to start that as best you can internally, somewhere in the March time frame, up this far north. Then you have to get in and, and build them up, or make sure they're built up. Splitting, I don't even know how I'd bother with that. <laughs> so it's such a challenge. Everybody has their own challenges, and we have ours too. We have problems with ours, but we're, our seasons, I've always said this, are so much more forgiving because if we make a mistake, we're okay. But in his case where, you know, life happens, we get busy and that hive swarms, that, that hive's done. So this is what I wanted to see. I want to see what kind of health my singles are going in with. Winter bees are being made right now. Yeah, this is it's a nice colony. No, it's very, very light. So this one will probably get a feeder for with two to one here after our golden rod is finished. I like it. I really do. It's it's really cool. It was a strange year, very strange year. You get going sometimes and get in that routine and all of a sudden you get a wrench thrown in the gears. You get a, a curveball thrown to you. 
that said, February last year, we began really seeing a ton of nectar coming in, and the blackberries exploded. Things just really were booming. Uh, a lot of stuff going on to where the hives were growing. The colonies were just exploding on us, and it, it, it blew up fast on us to where we thought we we're going to have a a really busy swarm season trying to control swarming and we had a major freeze major freeze for us it was a major freeze and we don't you know to get a major freeze that late in march really set us back and so as you guys know we lost the tallow flow but then came the drought i suspect it'll be my last time in the bees but today i'm actually going to pull a super of honey off i want to be done with it I like to have nothing but doubles and singles going into winter, how they're going to be configured for the whole winter, how I'm going to bring them out of winter. Just doesn't make sense. Just another thing that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Whatever. Everybody's heavy. I'm not taking anything from anybody. That's all I had to do out here today. Mainly want to check that colony and again, another first. What better season to have a first like that than this season, where well, as crazy as it is. Uh, unbelievable. Um, you can't make this stuff up, right? Just, I'm going to call it a season. Well, hey, look, I really appreciate all y'all watching. I appreciate your support. This is Barry's Best Honey. I'm Mike, and I did bees in the latter part of November. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful week. May God bless you. We'll see y'all later. <laughs>